So, I just woke up a while ago to some of you sending me messages about potential spoilers for the new season of Thrones, and I'm like, what? Really? Because HBO has tried desperately to ensure that no new leaks were possible this year, and they've done a pretty solid job. Remember last year when so many of the episodes were leaked online, and the year before that? The main reason for that is because they kept sending it out to the organizations who wanted to review the episodes before everybody else. Well, this year they stopped doing that and nobody has seen the new episodes. Well, except maybe President Obama. Seriously, that's not a joke. Obama has seen the first set of episodes before all of us. It's one of the perks of being president. So I checked out the pictures, and these look pretty legit, and if they aren't, someone is insanely good at Photoshop. Now before I continue, let me just say that this video contains spoilers, obviously. Not only that, but I will not be posting the leaked pictures in this video, for obvious reasons. This will mainly be me trying to dissect what the hell is going on in these. Also before I begin, if you're a fan of House Martell from the books, prepare to rip your hair out because what I'm about to tell you will anger the shit out of you. Okay, so let's begin. The first set of leaked pictures features Tristane Martel, and it looks like he's on the boat, and has been killed. Something is sticking out of his face, and it looks like he's been stabbed through the back of the head with a dagger. So remember when I was saying, gee, I wonder what will happen to Tristine? Well, I'm assuming Jamie kills him, either that or Bronn does. You're probably wondering, Duran is gonna be pissed, right? Nope, he's dead too. Alari and the Crap Snakes kill him too, or that's what it looks like. He's laying in a pool of his own blood, and the other picture is of Arya Hoda, his bodyguard, with a shocked expression on his face, and Tyeen stand behind him and it looks like she's smiling. Why does Alaria and the Shit Snakes kill Duran? Well, they won a war against the Lannisters, and what better way to ensure that than to frame them for Duran and Tristan's assassination? There goes that plot, and you know what pisses me off? That actor, Alexander Siddig, is so good, they never utilized him in a proper way, and if these leaks turn out to be true, the guy basically amounted to absolutely nothing. He and Ario Hoda were completely destroyed before they could do anything of importance. Sorry Martell fans, but this seems like an easy way out of the disaster that was Dorne last season. The showrunners have been quoted as saying they only have 13 episodes of material left. Well, you would have had more had these people stayed alive. Next up is in the leaked pictures is Melisandre, and remember in my previous breakdown video when I pointed out how sad she looked taking off her clothes? Well, that scene has some interesting stuff going on, and according to these, she's actually around 100 years old, and that jeweled choker around her neck that she's always wearing, well, apparently that is some kind of magical item that gives her eternal youth. When she takes it off, she becomes an old woman who's naked. Yes, you get to see an old woman who will be kissing Jon's lifeless body while she's naked. What I assume is happening here is that she has eternal youth and will be using the powers of the Lord of Light to bring Jon back at the cost of her own powers, but I'm confused by a couple of things. First, if that jewel around her neck gives her eternal youth or the appearance of a young woman, how come she didn't revert to an old woman in Season 4 Episode 7 when she's taking a bath and Stannis' wife Selyse walks in? We see Melisandre without her necklace slash choker thing, so how do, how do they explain that? Did she have it somewhere else on her body? And second, how will she use that to bring Jon Snow back from the dead? Because if that necklace is used to keep her appearance youthful, then how come in previous leaked pictures we see her while she's young standing alongside Jon Snow on the battlefield? So maybe she gives him half the necklace's power? No idea. And last, the other leaked picture is of a fleet of ships burning in the Bay of Marine, with Tyrion and Varys looking over them. This could be the Iron Fleet of the Greyjoys that comes to Marine. I assume that Tyrion has released the dragons from captivity and they've started burning everything. I would love for someone to make a meme of Tyrion in Season 5 saying, Don't worry, I'll take care of the city, and then cut to this picture of it burning. Please do that. Now, keep in mind that these pictures could be fake, but they look pretty legit. There was a premiere to the new season a while ago, and much of the information that came out of it was planted by people who worked behind the scenes to throw us off. Some of those people said how Jon Snow was going to be resurrected by sacrificing Sansa, and that Theon would kill Roos Bolton. All of it lies, I assure you. I'll leave these leaked pictures up on my Twitter if you guys want to check them out. Once again, sorry I couldn't post them here, I'm sure some of you understand, but I'm also sure some of you will complain about it. Sorry, nothing I can do about it, but this was just a video discussing my thoughts on them. Head on over to my Twitter page, check them out, and let me know what you guys think about them in the comments below. I'll be in the comments with you guys discussing them all day until tomorrow when episode 1 premieres. Also, keep in mind that I will be appearing on Phil the Issues Guy's YouTube channel to discuss the episode in a live podcast. That's right. 
I always be speaking to you guys live through a chat box or on the phone if you guys decide to call in. I'll be on there tomorrow right after the first episode airs, and we'll discuss the episode in detail. I'll leave a link in the description below to Phil's channel, so subscribe to him and check it out tomorrow. Now, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.